welcome back to my salsa online again maria and this is joel hey we're gonna break down the advanced turn pattern cool so we're gonna start first with a cross by the lead we're gonna lead the lady but she's gonna be behind us so we're gonna start guys turning to the right so this is what we're gonna do watch good on two three Actually, let me do it this way so you can actually see what happened. I'm gonna do the cross bar the lead first. This is from here, cross bar the lead. And guys, you can turn to the right. Catch the hand with your right and bring it all the way to your neck. Notice my body is 45 degrees. Six, Six seven, seven, and with the momentum, I'm gonna catch the hand and I'm gonna lead the lady's right turn. Gurung, both hands. Gurung, six, seven. Okay, let me do it in this angle. And five. Six, seven, guru, back, two, three, and kung kung, six, six seven. seven, catch the hand, two, three, six, seven, bring her in, and send her out. Ladies, for you, it's going to be more like a, like a copa kind of, so five, six, seven, you're going One, forward, two, two three, three. guru, six, six seven. seven, okay? Yes, so, but key thing is Joel says bring her in and send her out so make sure I actually feel his hand telling me to go out this off one. the right shoulder yeah this one this is just an illusion I just pass the hand so release the but the main leading comes from here and and like roll and roll yes that's what happens so you lead that his hand is kind of like a spring where it kind of brings me in and then sends me back out, right? Yeah, on the rolling part. I think it's more the rolling part than anything else because so roll, roll and she cannot go more rolling so she feels the momentum that you create to send her back. Yes. Is what it is, right? So, and so from you get here, five, five, six, six seven, seven, and one, two, two three, hammer lock, five, six, six seven. seven. When you create the hammer lock at the same time, once you create the hammer lock instantly, you start turning to your right. So you will catch the hand. Five, six, seven, and one, two, catch. Gurum, six, seven, and go with her on the six, seven. Let me do it on this angle so you can see. Uh, just in case you want to see what happened on the other side. And five, six, seven, and one, two, three, catch. Six, seven. Yeah, let's do it from the top, the whole thing, so you know how the whole thing connects. And Gurum. Two, three, kung kung, six, six seven, seven, cross body. Two, two three, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, open, six, seven, here. in, bam, bam, gurung, six, six and seven. seven. Sorry. My bad. I almost forgot the turn. <laughs> Let me see it again. Let's do this angle. Six and gurung, two, three, cross body, six, seven, gurung, Two, three, kung kung, six, seven, kung we kung, go on. Two, two, three, kung kung, six, seven, kung one, kung, two, three, out. kung kung, Back six, seven. Six. From here, bring her forward. Six, seven, good on, two, two, three, three good on. Very six, fundamental base, uh, turn, right? We you switch the hand, the one is on the bottom, we switch it to the, to the other side. So from here, let me do it from here again. And five. Six, Make her seven, open on the one, one switch two, the three, hand, four, five, six, six, and seven. seven. Now, before I move to the next movement, I want you guys to follow this dynamic or this, I mean, this uh, technique that I'm using here, right? So if I have the hand here, I want you to notice what happened with this hand, right? So first, the resistance right now is the girl's moving back. The resistance comes from the hand that she's in the back, right? That she has in the back as well as my hand. I'm the one creating the resistance. We're gonna do a, 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 a she's going six, seven. She's gonna create something like a big right turn, right? Six, seven, one, one. on the two. When she's two. stepping on two, you're stepping on two as well. If you notice here, it creates another kind of resistance. Contra body. Contra, con, uh -huh. So that resistance that we create on the body, because I am stepping back, is going to send her back, back. On the three. And then you come back, six, seven. So let me show you one more time this part as we move in. So five, six, six seven, seven, and one, one two, two, three, three gurung, six, six, seven. seven. So that okay. two, three is where you add the resistance. Yeah? So that's important, guys, that you mark the back with the right on two. Let me do it on this angle so you can see what happened on the other side. 
right here. Boom. Bam. So I'm here, okay? Ladies, look at Maria's footwork, guys. Look at my footwork as well. And make sure that you really worry about the footwork. Everything is about here more than the hands, okay? Five, six, seven, and one. Two, two three, three. Kung, kung, six, and seven. See? Yes. So for ladies, me, it is a big right turn. I'm just, I'm going one, two, three. I come back to him on three because I feel the resistance. Two, three, and then I just face him over the right shoulder on my kung, kung, five, six, and seven. What's important is to not take the weight off of the three. I, I normally don't go ahead of my steps, meaning I don't do this. One and two, and then I already move the three, right? Because two is always a pressure on the floor, right? It's my quick, quick. So I always touch the floor with the ball of the foot. One, two, in case either he leads me forward on three or he leads me back. My three is already there. I just need to turn out on three. And transfer the weight. Transfer the weight, right? Instead of, like I said, removing the weight... And now you have no way of getting back, right? There's nowhere to put the three. Mm -hmm. So just something to keep in mind. It's always a pressure. And like I said, you'll be ready for the forward or you'll be ready for the twist. Yeah, it's more like pivot turns when you transfer the weight. Yes. Which is make it easier for more following, right? Especially um, these types of turns. <laughs> so now let's put this together. So now that we have the technique of this hand, we're going to add the other hand, which is going to be the same turn. It's just connected, right? So on this turn, as she's going back, five, six, seven, I go up, palm up, and I face her on the two, which is when I create the resistance here. Uh, give me the hand on the side. Face me. Face me. Give me the hand on the back. There you go. This resistance, remember the, the stop on two? When I step on two, I just jump to this one because this hand, it's kind of hard to explain it, but this hand is pushing around around to bring him back again and place the hand on the shoulder, drop and catch under, okay? So let me see if I can break down this a little bit better and more detail. Watch, five, six, seven, and one, two, see two, and then I'm gonna bring her back, place the hand on your neck or shoulder, and then catch. You see the hand right here, your arm? You're gonna catch the hand under, okay? So it's gonna be your six, seven six, seven to create resistance to send the lady into your right shoulder, six, seven into regular uh, inside turn, double inside turn, yes? So, let's do that one again, a little bit up <clears throat> Yeah, let me do it again. Let me actually do it from here again. Six, seven, kung, kung, kung two, two, three, three. kung, kung, six, six seven, seven, kung, kung, two, back. kung, kung, six, six seven, seven kung, one, two, two three, three. Five, six, and seven. Okay? So let's do it from the top so you can catch up with us and also you can practice till there. Remember that you can rewind the video as many times as you want. So do it again, then rewind it. Do it again with us and rewind it. Make sure that you are uh, matching our movements. Ready? From the top. We'll do it from the top. And go, go. Two, two three. three. Actually, let me do it on the other side, which you can see more clear. Bam, two, bam, three. Go. Cross body. Six, seven. Kurung. Two, two, three. three. Kung, kung. Six, six seven. seven. Kurung. Two, two, three. Kung, kung. Six, six seven. Kurung. One, two, two three. three. Kurung. Bring six, her forward. Seven. And switch two, the hands. Three. And six, six seven, seven. And bring one. Her forward, back. Send her back. And six, six seven, seven. And one, two, three. Five, six, and seven. See? Notice how we finish it here. Don't disconnect because we're gonna use it, okay? Let me do it on this angle now. Two, three, six, seven, cross body. Two, three, kung kung, six, seven, kurung, turn and six, seven, and one, two, three, six, seven, and one, two, three, six, seven, and turn, two, three, drop and catch, six, seven, Two, three, five, six, and seven. Let's move on from here. Don't let go. So as you're here, so we do, we're gonna do kurung, two, three, with your right, with the hand that is on the top. You're gonna watch. I just drop the hand and I catch the wrist. The one that's under her left. Yeah. The same hand that I hold in, the same wrist that I connect. Here, boom. And once we connect, we pass this one. We're gonna catch this one over the head. So, if we have this position here, okay? So, 
If you don't know, over. if you don't know how to get there, just rewind. Start from here and turn the lady to her left. That's how you finish. Okay. So what we doing here? We're gonna do from the six, seven, and kum kum, two, three, kum kum, six, seven, kum kum. Bring this hand on top of her arm, and as you drop, catch. And notice you're gonna finish on the hammer lock position, right? From this hammer lock position, you're gonna do a left turn, guys. Six, seven. Kum Over kum, head, two, two three. three. My hand is still on the top. So we're gonna go behind. Five, six, seven. Three. Bring her forward. One. One. Lift her from the shoulder. Two, I mean elbow. Three. Kudum. Six and seven. Let me do it again. So from here we were finished. Remember, she was turning to the left, so I finished on the same position, right? This is after the inside turn. Six and kum kum. Two, three. three. You said on the kung kung sound, you're gonna start switching the hand. Kung kung. Six, seven. Ladies turn. Two, three. Kung kung. The lock. Guys left. Kung kung. kung. Two, three. Head. Behind. Behind. Six, six, seven, and Walker. one. Two, three. This could be Kung freestyle. Kung. Six, six and seven. seven. See? So, let's put everything together. Let's do it slow. We're gonna do two ways. And then after that, we're gonna try it with music. Okay? So let's do it together. Let's have it this way. Six, good, um, two, three. Cross six, back. Seven, good, um, two, two, three. Kung, kung, six, six seven. seven. Good, um, two, three. Pam, pam. Good, um, pam, pam. Over. Six, six seven, seven, and one. One, two, three. Hand. Good, um, six, six, seven. seven. Make sure you're going back. Two, three. Twist my head for style. Six, six, seven, good, one, two, three, five, six, seven, kung kung, two, right three, turn. guys left, six, seven, good, one, two, three, behind, behind the neck, six, six seven, seven, and walk her forward, two, two three, three. You can unravel. six, seven, let's do this way. So if I'm here, ladies, as we're turning, I just kind of do a comb over, over the head, yeah, just to unravel, instead of just coming from here down. I want it to like unravel nice, right? So he's here, he walks me, I just go over the face, and then back to regular position. Cool. cool. And then the other one, when I'm behind his back, if you notice, on the big right turn that we were explaining, I actually just twist my head over my shoulder just to give it an extra style. So I'm going one, two, and then I twist the same time I turn out the right leg. Three, I look over the shoulder, and then I come together on five. Yeah, that, yes. that creates more dynamic. Actually, you get you facing her too. You're doing this five, six, seven. Good um, face each other and yeah. six, seven. It's kind of like okay. you didn't expect it and then he's calling you over the shoulder. Yes? Cool. So we'll do it again. So let's do it a couple times. Two times. Uh, now we're going to do it this way. Six and good um, two, two, three, three. and Six, six, seven, good, um, two, three, kung, kung, six, six seven, seven, good, um, two, three, kung, kung, six, six seven, kung, kung, two, three, good, um, six, six, seven, and one, two, three, kung, kung, six, seven, and two, three, good, um, six, seven, and inside, two, three, switch hands, six, seven, good, um, two, three, kung, kung, six, seven, behind, he releases. Six, seven, and two, two three. three. Comb over. Six, six and seven. seven. Yes? Yes. When I was saying with the arms, especially when the guy has the arms behind his head, ladies, I have to be very flexible with my arm and not pull him. Otherwise, he couldn't do the comb overs behind his. And the same with me. When he comes to me, he flexes his arms, right? There's no pulling in the center. Otherwise, it just doesn't work, right? We're more like tugging on each other's body weight as opposed to staying controlled and flexing the arms. Cool. Yeah? Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do it with music. So you can see us, please try to follow us, rewind the video many times you, you need yeah. so you can practice with us, okay? And take it in pieces, right? Take it in pieces, how we explain it. We explained everything in pieces, right? We did the first part. So if you wanna just do the first part, stop it, do it with music, then do the second part, stop the video, do it with music. And then little by little, you'll start to do the whole turn pattern. But um, a really quick thing, just a quick tip. When you're on the dance floor, you're not going to do the whole entire turn pattern, right? You want to just do it in pieces yeah. and, and do it to the music and, you know, have fun with your partner rather than, like, 
Okay, I'm memorizing the turn pattern, right? You want to just have fun with it. So take the whole thing, separate it on the dance floor, and add some basic stuff in between. Yeah, so you get a full dance out of it, rather than looking like you're, you're thinking about it. Cool? Cool. Very good tip, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so let's try it with music now. Okay, so we're going to take it from here. We're going to do this way first, cross body lead. Bam, bam, behind the neck. Six, seven, ladies turn. And move out of the way, right? Move out of the way. Six, bring her forward. Six, seven, and now here, move out of the way again. Boom. Six, seven, and bam, bam. You can either wait here for the left turn. Bam, bam. Or you can do it right away here. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Let me do the whole thing again. This way, actually. Five, six, cross body. Bam, bam, behind the neck. Six, seven. Two, three. Six, seven, and two, three. Six, seven, and two, three. Six, seven. Bam, bam, move out of the way. Bam, bam. Six, seven. Here, right away. Boom. Bam, bam, six, seven, and two, three, six, seven.